here. You got both hooks. Another good solid two, two pounder. Maybe, maybe a two pounder. But that was awesome. Cause he came out of nowhere when I was least expecting it. It's crazy, dude. Like they're, they're just, they're up there. They're up there spawning 12 o'clock in the day on the rocks like it's a shad spawn at night. Can you see that? Look at it, focus on it. There it is right there, see that? That's the six cents, six and a half inch draw glider that um, Six Sense made. And you know, I found this bait probably two weeks ago and I'm just now really getting out to fish it. And you've heard me say before, if you watched any of my videos on my glide baits, this, that, and the other, I like the six inchers, six and a half, sevens. I like them. I, I tend to get bit on those more than I do the bigger ones. I also have the draw. I think it's the nine inch. Let me get that just for comparison. I got it somewhere. Are you in there? There it is. It's hot. Mm. This smells like I just wiped my butt with it. All right, so where was we? Yeah, the six and a half inch draw by six cents. No, I'm not sponsored. No, they didn't send me this. I bought it. It was 45 bucks. No, I'm sorry, it was 49.99. And I think that's the going price for them. Could be wrong, 50 bucks for a, a good little glide bait. Now, if you're a beginner glider, okay, this might, you, you might want to try with the Chad Shad because this thing, gets a little it's weird because the chad shad you can chop it and you can chop it really good this you kind of have to work it a little bit more like with the rod tip you kind of have to pop and chop if that makes sense it's almost like um it's almost like a it's kind of like a spook or a top water like a gunfish or a sammy or something like that you kind of have to pop the rod tip uh, to make it chop really good because sometimes it'll it'll roll a little bit and i think because see that angle right there it needs to be a little bit more bent over and you can do this by dremeling the um, the front half of this flatter so it does chop I just haven't done it yet like I said today's the first day I've thrown it and I'm really digging it I uh, like I'm really digging it so I seen this and you know I'm on Smith Mountain Ow, I've never seen the six and a half and I love the six and a half I'm gonna keep saying it six and a half really good action to it and like i said you have to work it a little bit more than a chad shad so if you're just starting out i would probably start out with a chad shad just because they're so easy to work today i caught a few and every fish that bit it did not come off and i just cut my freaking finger look right there in the nail these hooks are sharp and i i think they're gamagatsus i could be wrong they might be vmcs but it doesn't say so anyway six and a half inch draw is a slow sink glide bait uh one ounce my favorite color on any glide bait is going to be like a bone color bone pearl albino white they all stand for the same color right white i like the white um glide baits and another reason why because i'm more of a visual fisherman i love seeing it come through the water you know if anybody's ever been musky fishing you'll know what i'm talking about because they have big glides i mean these glides do like three foot freaking intervals if that's the right word i mean you you don't chop them you freaking snap it snap and you're using like eight and a half nine foot rods extra heavy big freaking i got some i'll, I'll do a video on them they're actually pretty cool i was thinking about doing a video on um bass fishing with musky baits and i'm talking about the glides like the hellhounds and the um really good really good glide bait super impressed with it just to give you kind of a a comparison okay there's like plenty of coves on this lake and you're gonna come in here that's what i thought keep moving nothing to see here oh i forgot to say if you're new to the channel go ahead like and subscribe uh for more content because that's what they all say and for some reason it triggers people to actually subscribe and like the video all right here's the size difference in the nine inch and the six and a half that's a big difference bigger i've actually got lead wire wrapped around this one so it sinks a little bit more um the nine inch i'm throwing on a 13 to 5 black eight foot uh heavy heavy and it is on a concept a3 reel 
really good reel. Throwing this on a um, Gerald Swindle Meta 7.6 Heavy. It's the perfect rod for like these one ounce glide baits. And I'll throw a Chad Chad on it too. I think it's I think it's perfect, the action's perfect. Like I said, every fish that came up actually hammered it, never came off. The, the cool thing about fishing glide baits is I love fishing docks. These fish were coming up, I actually only had like two or three follows today because every fish that seen it, smashed it. And I mean, they wreck it, they T-bone it. They want to kill it, destroy it, put it out of its misery. That's why I like this. I will say, my experience on the nine inch, you have to watch these tails right here. So when you lay them on your deck, make sure it ain't bent, okay? Because when it gets hot and it cools off, it's gonna stay bent. It's gonna totally mess up your action on your glide bait. You, you're gonna have to keep bending that back to make it straight. And then a couple hours later, it'll start running right again. What I would probably do, like I said, is get the Dremel out, maybe take off a little bit off of these sides right here, just so it chops better because it seems to roll just a little bit. And I'm using like a, I think a seven three to one or seven one to one, seven something to one. It's a seven gear ratio reel. That's what I'm just gonna go with that. So, okay, seven, four to five. I would probably belly weight it. You know, just some lead belly weights. You can get, they're on Tackle Warehouse. Just look them up. They're under uh, swim bait accessories, I think. And you can, I would probably put just one of the, of the heavier weights on it. I don't know what the, I don't know if it's like one, 30 second or super light just so it sinks just a little bit sometimes uh, i was throwing this and it would stay afloat and it would just kind of wake back so you have to kind of pop it kind of get it down also the way the way i approach fishing gliders on docks is you know i love the floaters most of the time if i'm coming up on a floater i try to stay a little bit ways back because uh, you know if the fish see you they're not going to eat it they're, they'll follow it but they're, they're not going to eat it the ones that don't see you will eat it if they see it Today, I had them see me and they still waited. Fish the steps that go to the dock. Fish that, fish everything around the dock that you can because those fish hang around docks, especially like right now in June. And, and you know, like here's another thing about swim bait fishing, all right? It's, it's swim bait, it's a glider. I always heard that you need wind, you need, you know, a little bit of cloud cover. That's not the case, that's false because today, is like super bright no wind and something else that really intrigued me is when i would throw this lure you know beside a floater or something like that and it made a splash i think it gets those fish's attention these shad up on these banks are spawning right now you can hear them like when i just pulled up they're like you know like they do at night right shad spawn but it's going on during the day too so Check out this super cool bait. I need to get some underwater footage of it. You like the shirt, glide or die? Get it on my website, doletsfish.com. Also, new hats. I've got camo hats. I've got the uh, the autos, which I love these hats. Flat bills, you know what I'm saying? And I've got the camo Richardson 112 hats. I've got the DLF hats, uh, the gray with the yellow, which is kind of cool. I've got some, uh, just check out the website. Get, get whatever you want, really. I've got a new, cool, do let's fish roadie shirt. It's a button up and it's a Dickies and it's freaking sweet. Actually, I might wear it out tonight. It's cool. But uh, yeah, the draw, six and a half inch. There it is, that's the package. Here's the bait. Awesome, I give it a, I give it an A. I like it, no, I give it a, I give it a B plus. I give it a B plus, I like it. If I was to score it one to 10, I would say it's a, I would say it's a 7.9. I'll give it that. Yeah, 7.9. I like it. Uh, the more I fish with it, I might change that. But, you know, 7.9. It's like Mike Portnoy, like you can't. I mean, Mike Portnoy. That's the drummer for Dream Theater. <laughs>